The continuing commitment 2022 coverage, two challengers are vying to represent Florida House 91 in Southern Palm Beach County. Republican candidate Peggy Gossett Seedman is facing off against Democratic candidate Andy Thompson. Incumbent Representative Emily Slosberg King is not running for re-election. Jay Jarvis just spoke with both, both candidates. Newly redistricted House 91 now encompasses the entire city of Boca Raton, where Democrat Andy Thompson is a councilman, and Highland Beach, where Peggy Gossett Seidman is a town commissioner. WPBF 25 asked both candidates questions about several issues, including affordable housing and what they'll do to help people in their district. Gossett Seidman suggests utilizing the Sadowski Fund, a statewide revenue source for affordable housing. Fully use that Sadowski fund for starters and then see what we can do in a public private partnership and maybe giving tax breaks to company companies who are engaged in housing construction. Thompson proposes expanding the Hometown Heroes program, which aims to make communities more affordable for frontline workers. And they did that through down payment assistance and closing cost assistance. What I think we need to do as a state is make sure that we expand that and keep it perpetual so that folks who work in those industries, the folks who are keeping us safe and teaching our kids and, and helping us in the hospital when we're sick, that those folks can live in near where they serve. And in District 91, many of those residents live near water. Both candidates say rising sea levels are a concern when asked about environmental issues. Thompson says he's worked to address the issue while on Boca's council, but believes state and federal help is needed too. We, the United States, need to get together with the nations of the world and say we need to make a commitment to reduce carbon you know, emissions to reduce greenhouse gases. Gossett Seidman says she's been on two committees addressing sea level rise. She also wants to focus on the district's hundreds of miles of canals and waterways. And I've actually seen, actually my son jumped into a canal to retrieve debris and garbage out of one. It is flowing into the canals and into the intercoastal under the ocean. So we have to make sure that these canals are clear, our waterways stay clean. Jay Jarvis, WPBF 25 News.